Hi, uh, this is Dr. Himayatullah Khan and uh, I welcome you to my video on Johansson co-integration test and uh, vector error correction mechanism. <coughs> Before I discuss Johansson co-integration test and VECM in greater detail, let us suppose I have four variables and these four variables are consumer price index, industrial production, money supply and treasury bill. First of all, I will check stationarity of all these variables and suppose all these variables are non-stationary at level but they are but they become stationary by taking uh, their first difference. So it means that when I take first difference of these time series, then these variables become stationary and they are stationary in if they are stationary of the same order, then I can uh, test for Johansson co-integration and vector error connection mechanism or war model. Now the criteria is if there is co-integration, I mean if there is long run relationship uh, among these variables, then I will estimate vector error correction mechanism. But if there is no co-integration among these variables, then in that case I will estimate war system. Uh, so let me first of all uh, open my uh, file of variables. This is a, a EVU file, work file data and this is constant, this is consumer price index one variable, this is another variable IP industrial production, this is my third variable M1 that is money supply and this is treasury bill. And in my previous videos I have checked uh, the stationarity and I found out that all these four variables were stationary, were non-stationary at uh, level but uh, they became stationary with, uh, when I took the first difference. And uh, all the four variables were stationary at their first level. So now I can, uh, I, I can do co Johansson co-integration test. First of all, let me open all my variables as a group uh, and then I will, uh, I will test co-integration. So open them as a group and uh, this is the consumer price index, industrial production, uh, money supply and uh, treasury bill. Now, now before doing uh, any further analysis, I assume that uh, all my four variables are stationary at the first difference and this is time series data from 1960 uh, January up to up to up to 2011 uh, December. This is quite a big sample. So uh, let me first of all uh, go to uh, quick and uh, then I will uh, check group statistics and under group statistics, so uh, group statistics I will go to Johansson co-integration test and uh, uh, when this dialog box opens it has all my four variables. So I will press OK and uh, when this dialog box comes, uh, I should leave this and uh, this should be checked, this serial number 3 should be checked and after pressing OK, uh, it will estimate me uh, Johansson co-integration test. Now this, these are the results of co-integration test, Johansson co-integration test. Now this small panel shows uh, unrestricted co-integration test based on trace statistics and this one uh, basically shows maximum eigenvalues. Basically there are these two criteria and I can reject or accept hypothesis of uh, number of co-integrated equation on the basis of trace value or on the basis of maximum eigenvalues. Here, this, this is null hypothesis and uh, the first one is that there is no co-integrating equation. Now if you look at this uh, probability value, then we reject uh, the assumption of no co-integrating equation. And then this is that uh, at most there is no uh, co-integrating equation, this one is also rejected on the basis of p-value. But uh, regarding this, we cannot reject this one on the basis of p-value and uh, three co-integrated equations are also rejected on the basis of this p-value. 
so the result of trace statistics indicates that uh, there are two co integrating equation at 5% level uh, let me also confirm the same on the basis of the maximum uh, eigen values and uh, this also uh, is in conformity with the uh, trace statistics result and here also we see that maximum eigen values test indicates that there are two co integrating uh, equation at the 5% level now it means that uh, there is a long run relationship uh, among these variables that is cpi industrial production money supply and uh, uh, treasury bill so what i will do after this i will uh, go to the top menu and in top menu i will uh, press quick and uh, under press quick i will go to estimate var when i press this i get this so i will uh, click this one since there is co integration so i will have to estimate error, uh, error correction if there were no co integration equation then i would have uh, left this uh, unrestricted uh, var so let me also write the four uh, series here cpi ip m1 and uh, treasury bill and uh, let me press ok when i press ok so i get these results now these are vector error correction estimates and this is the uh, co integrating co integrating equation and uh, these are the uh, coefficients these are the standard errors and these are in the uh, basis these are the um, p statistics now here th this is the uh, error correction uh, model uh, and there are four equations this is a system of equations uh, but you see one thing that uh, when we check co integration we check them at level but here uh, when we estimate error correction mechanism then automatically you use convert these variables into the first difference so i have a system of equation four equation uh this uh, this is the uh, equation for the uh, difference of uh, consumer price index this is its uh, uh, error correction these are other coefficients uh, for uh, the leg two of all the two variable all the other variable this is uh, uh, industrial production this is for money supply and this is for uh, treasury bill now you see uh, all these coefficients have uh, standard errors like this in parentheses and uh, in the third uh, in the third brackets they have t values but there are no p values so we need to have t values for them and uh, uh, how can we do that now again on this equation uh, 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 page let me go to prac and uh, make a system and then i will press order by a variable so this is uh, my uh, system of equation equation number 1 equation number 2 equation number 3 and equation number 4 now each equation has a uh, 10 coefficients and there are four coefficients uh, four equations so on the whole there are 40 coefficients and you can see from here so this is a system of equation now i will copy this i will copy this in order to get p values i will copy this and uh, after copying uh, i will uh, uh, go to quick again and here and uh, uh, i will click estimate uh, equation and in this dialog box i will paste and after that i will press okay and when i press okay i get uh, i get this and uh, this is my you know um, this is a uh, my uh, model where a vector error correction model for uh, the first difference of consumer price index this is the equation these are the coefficients and uh, c1 is the coefficient of uh, error correction mechanism uh these are c2 is the 
C2 is the um, coefficient of uh, industrial production in its lake and C3 is the coefficient of uh, uh, money supply in its lake and uh, so on. Now, if you look at these p values, uh, the, the vector error correction or the error correction coefficient must be negative and uh, it must be significant. And basically, uh, this shows the speed of adjustment to the long run uh, equilibrium relationship uh, uh, among uh, these uh, time series. It means that if there is any deviation from their long run association ship or long run equilibrium relationship, then uh, there is a error correction mechanism and the sign should be negative because it means that uh, the system will go back, it will go back uh, to the long run equilibrium. So, uh, this model has error correction uh, coefficient of minus and it is also significant. So, it means that the system will converge to the uh, it will converge to the uh, long run relationship. I hope uh, you could get an idea of how can we do uh, Johansson co integration test and uh, error correction mechanism.